Hello again everyone, we're back here, and this is a funny story to talk about here. The Nintendo 3DS users who are playing pirated games all across the world are being banned. So finally, Nintendo is once again doing something right. Now this is more of a common sense thing, because if they weren't doing anything, then... Oh, you'd have to question the entire amount of brain cells that Nintendo would have. But luckily, they aren't as stupid as we think they are, at least across the board. So, apparently a number of hackers have found ways to play pirated games on the 3DS, um, and as you would expect, Nintendo does not like hackers, as most people don't. And, you know, sometimes I've seen people actually try and defend these things, where it's just like, oh, well, we should be able to play you know, old games from the Game Boy uh, Color on our 3DS or something like that. And it's like, then you have those games still, and you have an old Game Boy Color. Play it on that. So, if you're going to be an, a moron and hack these things, these consoles, these platforms, then you deserve to be punished. It's just that simple. And I've not said that in a long time, have I? <laughs> but, um, yeah, um... And they get all these, like, error messages. Uh, users in multiple countries have been getting error 002-0102, which normally means an internet connectivity problem. However, after contacting Nintendo, multiple users have confirmed that the uh, CS, the customer service, says it's a ban, they offer no further information at this time, and cannot overturn it. Well, first of all, because the Nintendo customer service people are just customer service. They don't handle banning. They are not in charge of that. And don't think it's the Miiverse admins, because they have nothing to do with this either. Surprisingly, this would just actually be Nintendo themselves. Um, so, uh, pff, where was I? Yeah, as of now, there is no solid evidence that it is a Nintendo Network ID ban, and most conjecture circumstance points to a, a Mac or SN ban. Users that are banned can still enter the eShop and purchase games and download updates. They cannot go online within any game or use the friends list, which, that's something I don't get. Even if you're banned... You should still be able to use your friends list, or communicate with your friends. That's something I don't get, uh, with Nintendo anyway. Uh, they also cannot use any application that requires online activity, including Pokemon Bank, YouTube, and Netflix. However, the web browser does still work. Now, you know what's funny? You're already paying 8 bucks a month for that Netflix crap, and then if you're banned and you can't use it, yet you're still paying the 8 bucks a month... Wouldn't that be a bit of an issue? You would have a bit of a case where you're like, I'm going to sue Nintendo because you're not letting me use Netflix. I'm paying for a service that's not yours, and you're not letting me use that service. So, I don't know. I don't know if you could actually get away with that. Either way, um, I do say, you know, these people who purposely choose to uh, hack or modify their console in a way that lets them play games they're not supposed to be, they need to be banned. I'm completely, uh, you know... Not going to defend them. I'm just going to say you fucking deserve it. And that Nintendo did the right thing. Whether this is a permanent ban, I don't know. I would assume so. Um, because what would be the point in being like, you pirated our games? You're banned for a week. That wouldn't really do much of anything. Um, so, yeah. I guess that's all I have to say about this subject. So let's move on, shall we, to the next video. Um... I forget what it is, but anyway, we'll see you then.